Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Redolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And today I'm joined by the beautiful Demi Rowling. Hello, it's nice to finally meet Stephen. I've watched his channel for a long time, so it's very cool to be sitting here with Stephen. And I'm very excited for this video, which he will introduce. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate you yeah, coming on my nice. channel. I've, obviously, I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. And yeah. I know we live in two different continents. And so <laughs> it finally like happened. like the opposite sides of the world. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, cool. So in this video, I'm actually going to be introducing my line of fragrances to Demi Rowling. So make sure to stay tuned. So before we start, I just want to say that you're not obligated to do this video. I know it's of kind course. of weird if I'm sitting next to you and you're smelling my fragrances. I want you to know, please do not feel obligated to say anything positive about any of them. Yeah. I think we're both mature enough to know that if something doesn't cater to our personal taste, inevitably there is going to be somebody out there who likes it. And so if you don't like it, just keep it real with me. Tell me the truth. Absolutely. Say it's not for me. Steven is such a cool guy. So I feel 100% comfortable. It's weird, like I feel really comfortable with you, even though we've never really yeah. met or spoke to each other before. So I'll, obviously I'll be honest <laughs> if I like it or... That's awesome, cool. I know the two-dimensional Demi Rowling, because I think we're so used to seeing <laughs> yeah. each other on camera that yeah. like seeing that profile in real life is just it's, kind of unusual, it's but it's crazy. cool at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and start. So I suppose I'll start from this direction and then I'll work my way over. Perfect. So as you can see, there is some differentiation in the laboratory bottles, and that's yeah. because these two mm -hmm. are by Bertrand du Chafour. Yeah. Uh, this is by Jorge Lee, and then the rest are from Chris Carbonell. I did watch your video um, explaining. From today? No, I oh, watched the, uh... no, I watched your video when you were talking about like uh, like launching the brand and it oh, was okay. yeah, yeah, it yeah. was fantastic. I was so happy for you and like Thank you so when much. I was Thanks. watching it it was fantastic and I can I can tell and I haven't I've only smelled one. Okay. Spoiler. Right. <laughs> but um <laughs> I can I can see that Steven and has really worked a long time on his fragrances which is for me it, it it says a lot about you and the people that you're working with that you just uh, like it's yeah, I'm very looking forward to, to trying them all. And Thank you, Danny. I think it's yeah. going to be a big success, even though I haven't tried them. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for believing in me. I really yeah, appreciate course. that. It's been a long journey. I mean, a yeah. year and a half in the works, yeah. but uh, it's finally here. So let's get this yes. done, I guess. Okay. So the first one is by Bertrand du Chafour, mm -hmm. and this is the one that I have been teasing online. This one you actually haven't smelled yet. I haven't smelled it? No. Okay. And uh, you smelled, I think, one of these two. Okay. But um, So this is the one that has notes of like cinnamon, saffron, almond. Nice. Toffee, caramel, chocolate. Oh, nice. So like a gourmand. Yeah, so this is definitely a gourmand. Okay. All right. Let's see. Again, keep it real. <laughs> this is my type of fragrance. And is it? Absolutely. Can I take this with me? <laughs> <laughs> no, Actually, I'm I have a few more bottles at home, so. Oh, really? You probably okay. can, yeah. Wow. You must be so happy, like. I am. You must be absolutely stoked. I'm not just saying it. I honestly, I'm sure you wouldn't mind if I was. I said I didn't like something. No, not at all. This is fantastic. Oh my god. Thank you. That sweet. Uh, not too sweet. Not as sickly. It's you can tell. You can tell like that. It's a high, high, high quality niche fragrance. Mm. But it is the sort of fragrance that I like to wear. Like a sweet. Um, what are what are the notes in here? Okay, so on the top you have cinnamon. Uh, saffron. Yeah. Almond. Oh yes, I get saffron and yeah. almond as well. Yeah. In the mid, you have. Um, well, I forget if it's the mid or the base, but I know there's oak moss, driftwood, okay. uh, caramel, toffee, yes, yep. like a like an apple note yep. in there as well, and uh, ambergris. Did I say ambergris? No. <laughs> okay, and ambergris. <laughs> yeah. Which kind of lends it like a really interesting texture in the base, but again, that's that just my fantastic. opinion. Okay. This is like a. Yeah. Like I just said, this is the sort of fragrance that I love. If you watch my channel, <laughs> I am a gourmand lover. I love sweet fragrances. I like oriental. Yep. Uh, but this is not too sweet. It's not something that's sickly. And I feel like this is unisex, like 100%. Yeah, that was certainly one of my aims. I wanted to make sure that it's the whole line all yep. unisex. Yeah, yep. there you go. And this is wow. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much, Demi. No, I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the first one. Oh, wow. It's yeah. All right. Fantastic. Awesome. Thanks again. All right, so the second one is also by Bertrand du Chafour, and I'm not going to tell you any of the notes in here because okay. I don't want to influence you, yeah, yeah. but um, after you smelled it, if you're curious, please ask. Yes. Here you go. Okay, perfect. Ooh. 
creamy, very creamy, mm -hmm. very like a woody, creamy, smooth, a little sweet. Yep. Some sandalwood maybe. It's a, for me, it's like a woody, creamy, slightly sweet, very sexy. Again, totally, you can smell it's a totally unisex sort of fragrance. And um, again, I'm, <laughs> wow. I okay. absolutely love this. Uh, for me, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. No, what, what are yeah, the so notes in here? Yeah, uh, so that one has tobacco. Okay. It has yeah, beeswax so absolute. Okay, yes, the creamy. Um, you said it was a little sweet to it. Actually, yes, it does have honey. Yeah. yeah. It has uh, mango and fig milk. Okay, I don't I don't get the mango or... Yeah. Yeah, I've never smelled <laughs> I couldn't imagine what fig milk smells like, but yeah. it's a it's definitely got that kind of beeswax sort of sweet smooth but not too sweet it's not like a sickly yeah i think it's sweet it's creamy and the tobacco isn't overwhelming the tobacco is definitely not overwhelming like i can barely notice the tobacco to be honest yeah. with you but that is fantastic oh my god oh i'm glad demi thank you oh that's amazing all no, right totally. so so far we're two for two again you're allowed to dislike some but... uh, absolutely no, <laughs> i i hope that i can take these home <laughs> i actually have extras so we'll arrange that okay. for sure <laughs> Okay, cool. So here's the next one. These, honestly, like uh, the two that I've smelled, they very high quality. You can you can smell the the quality and the fragrance, a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, so this is definitely more fresh. Very mm -hmm. some bergamot, maybe some mm -hmm. very citrus, a little bit of a woodiness, uh, like a little bit spicy as well, like an aromatic, spicy sort of thing. I would like to smell on a guy. Like I, okay. I personally would not wear something so fresh and, and citrusy. Thank you for that. Yeah, I no, respect that. No, of course. But still, you can smell the fragrances. Top notch, top notch quality, a hundred percent. But I'm saying what I personally like. This is more masculine, and definitely fresh. Like a hundred percent. This is a freshy. Nice. Now, do you pick up on like an earthiness in there? A like a bit. patchouli or like a like a soil, not a uh, soil, yeah. but like an earthy undertone. A, a little bit of an earthiness, yeah. Yeah. Is there patchouli in here? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what else cool. is in here? Green mango. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot of citrus in there, as you yes. mentioned. Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of the fresher ones, but not the yeah. freshest one in the collection. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I I like it a lot, but for me, those the two first ones that I smelled, for me, yeah. Beautiful. Cool. So I would venture to say that the next one is the most daring one on okay. this list. Yeah. And so um, really curious and I'm, you know, sitting here with bated breath to see what you think. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah, definitely daring. <laughs> Some rose. Is... A lot of rose. Yeah. yeah, Turkish rose. There's something kind of like, um, yeah, this is a very unique fragrance. Very, very, very. Who, who made this one? Uh, this is Chris Carbonell. So okay. the one that you smelled previously is Jorge Lee. Yep. And the last three are Chris Carbonell. Okay. Yeah. This is a hundred percent like a a daring, like you just said. Very niche, very different. I think it's definitely more of an acquired scent. Okay. You have to like your rose. I agree with you. Yeah. Have to like. There's your rose. also um. There's also a natural oud blend yeah, in there. Yeah, I was and gonna so, say there's some sort of, uh, not skanky, but kind of like some sort of oudy scent in there, like something. I think it's a little skanky. I think it's fair to say it's a little skanky. There is musk yeah. and some animalic notes. Animalic. Yeah, they're all yeah. synthetic, obviously, but yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I like it. For me, maybe a little daring for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I think as well, like if you like rose and you're always searching for a rose that's um, more challenging, more different, more unique, this is fantastic. And I think as well for men and women, because it has the oud, it has that kind of animalic. I think for men and women, this would be, yeah. If you, but you definitely have to love your rose. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because the rose, I smell it straight away. Yeah. It's definitely the star player. So yeah. Thank you again for the candor yeah, on that one. Yeah, of course, of course. So the next one is also by Chris Carbonell, and mm -hmm. this is the one that I sprayed on you at the event. Yes. And so I'm curious to have your thoughts now when we're not in a crowded room. <laughs> Full of uh, billions <laughs> of fragrances. Like, exactly, and know. we can hear ourselves think. <laughs> okay. 
Yep. Totally love this fragrance. Uh, uh, Steven sprayed it on my hand and I was totally blown away. So I'm just going to put it out there. I will 100% purchase so far these two, this fragrance with my own money. Oh my God, when it, No, absolutely. I want to support you because I can see how much time and money and everything has gone into these fragrances. You can smell it 100%. Thank no, you, no that corners. Really means a no, lot to me. Thank no you for corners have been you know? cut. It's a hundred percent your passion, and you can smell it in in the fragrances. Thank you. Inevitably, and I wanted is... to make sure that I did things the right way, and so yeah. it took a little bit longer than expected. Yeah. But you know, I feel good about it. You should be so happy and so proud that, yeah, putting Thank your you. name behind these fragrances. Uh, I love this so much. Okay. <laughs> So we have uh, toasted sugar. I think it's very sexy. <laughs> like okay. if I smell this on a guy, very, very, very sexy fragrance. Okay, cool. For me, for me. This is like addictive. It's got an addictive twist to it, but... I'm glad you said that because that kind of coincides with the marketing for it. Yeah, and okay. So you'll see once like once the uh, launched, images yeah, and the yeah. names are revealed and so... Yeah, okay. Very cool. Nice. Awesome. Well, definitely. This is probably, for me, the sexiest that I've smelled so far. Like sexy ones. A hundred percent. That is fantastic. Awesome, thank you. What? No, of course. All right. So it's fair to say that you know some you really like, some of them just weren't for you. Yeah. Of and course, so there was yeah. a nice balance here, and that's awesome. Well, that's that's me. I'm being honest. Stephen hasn't told me to say anything. Of course not. Okay. I'm just being myself and saying which ones that I love. Thank you. So yeah. And I appreciate that very very much. And the last one. Okay. Again, I won't say anything about it. Okay, again, fresh, fresh. I like this one more than the other fresh one. Okay. For me, it's got a um, a greenness. There's definite greenness to this scent. A oh lot. yeah. Which I usually am not the biggest fan of green scents. I have to like there's certain green notes that I really work well with, and there's certain that I don't. But yeah. I definitely like this, and I would wear this one myself. Mm. There's a bit of a bitter, like there's a bit of. Uh, sort of bitterness to the fragrance. Okay. What What are the notes in here? So that one has grapefruit, neroli, yes, yeah. bergamot, yeah, yeah. a mm -hmm. lot of citrus in the opening. Yeah. Uh, in the mid it has uh, a little bit of the lang, -lang. I'm not really yep. picking up on it. It's mostly mint, however. And yeah, then in the base okay. you have cedarwood and vetiver. It's drying down a little bit. Okay, this is a fresh fragrance that I would love. I, I like my citruses to be... Um, uh, quite crisp, a, yeah. a little bit bitter on the bitter side. I don't like anything. Uh, uh, this is for me. Like this is a citrus that I would 100% wear and love. Amazing. Straight away. As uh, and there's obviously the two fresh ones. For me, this is my fresh choice, 100%. Okay. So, Do you also find one of them to be a little bit more unisex than the other? Ah, uh, yes. I find this one to be more unisex. This one's a little more masculine. The one with the little bit more vetiver. Yeah. I can't remember the earthiness. Yeah. yeah. For this, me, this one's more unisex. Yeah, despite the fact that they're all unisex, I kind of agree with you. I think this one might lean a little bit more masculine yeah. just on account of those darker earthier nerds, yes. notes, excuse me, in yeah. the base, yeah. Yeah. This is fantastic and this is one that I feel like for me because uh, it's funny like in day-to-day -day wear in Australia, I usually go for fragrances like this, which is oh, quite do you? Yeah, because nice. it well, it's hot and yeah. um I don't have a very life, like a life where I'm going out to parties and events and all the, you know, where you need like a big boisterous sort of fragrance. Sure, so for sure. me, this is something that I would take with me, wear it and yeah, it's perfect for me, somebody like me, 100%. Yeah, I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. Cool. <laughs> Demi, thank you so much. No, I really course, appreciate it. Of course, of um, course. So like I, I, like I said, we never met each other. Sorry, but I'm <laughs> proud of what you've achieved. This is absolutely incredible to see someone um, you know, not coming from nothing, but like, you, you know, this is obviously built from... Yeah, and I think we both started with zero subscribers of at course. one point, right? <laughs> and so it's interesting just to document the journey and see how far along we both come. And uh, yeah. I want to thank you so much for supporting me every step of the way. It no, means a lot. absolutely. So quickly, I'm going to recap very quickly. For me, <laughs> these two, like are the sweeter, like oh, just, yeah, top notch for me. I. Yeah, fantastic. Um, uh, and these two. For me, this one is the sexiest of the of the line. For me, this is like okay. addictive, sexy. For a man, I would find this. I'm not just saying it. 
I don't really care, <laughs> but yeah. like totally sexy. And this has a, I, I was kind of thinking, it's got a bit of like a cologne sort of vibe. Like, you know, the- Yeah, yeah the, sure, sure. Yeah, for me- The Neroli. Yes, the Neroli. It's, it's kind of splashy, but I, I love it. And I would 100% wear it. And then this one is the, the creamy, uh, woody, smooth, very fantastic. Like you can just 10 out of 10 for me. And then obviously the sweet. But for me, these two, uh, the rose is very strong. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's it a, quite is. You know, it's a, I think it's a very acquired scent that you would definitely have to, you know, you'd have to be into your rose and, and your maybe more animalic notes. And then this one is obviously the other citrus. So, yeah. So not only do you have a great nose, you also have a great memory because <laughs> you were able yeah, to recall course, the, yeah, the scent profile for well, all of these. Well, they're, so. to be honest, very memorable fragrances and not fragrances that I you know, I, you know, I don't feel like you would have many of these scents within your collection that you can go, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. sometimes when something releases, it's a little underwhelming because you're like, I've smelled that 50 billion times before. Yeah. This is a very unique uh, line and I can't wait to see it launch and, and come to fruition fully. So thank you again, Demi. That was yes. certainly the plan from the onset, just trying to release fragrances that I haven't personally encountered before. Yeah. That's not to say something slightly similar to it yeah. doesn't exist out there, but in the thousands that we both smelled, yeah, um, you I haven't, haven't just, really smelled anything like yeah, and you haven't kind of gone like a this is I love this fragrance. I'm going to create something almost exactly the same yeah. because I, you know these are very different fragrances, but also incredible. So I'm, I yeah, I'm looking forward to thank you, Demi, seeing Thanks. the final product. Thank you so much. And thank you all at home so much for tuning in. Uh, Demi's channel is going to be down below as well. So definitely check her out, show her some love, subscribe to her content. She recently hit 100,000 subscribers. So a thank huge you. congratulations <laughs> to you. Thank you. That's very kind. And uh, also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would love it if you could support this channel and what I do. It's easy. All you need to do is click the red subscribe button in the corner. This way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. Never need to worry about missing any of my future uploads. Thanks again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.